and the record for the shortest section might go to the environment. But nevertheless, the collection of bindings and their values that exist at a given time is called the environment. Sounds like a reasonable definition addition. And if I run mint, the collection of bindings and their values that exist at a given time is called the environment. Sweet. We can get rid of these. And when a program starts up, this environment is not empty. It always contains bindings that are part of the language standard, and most of the time, it also has bindings that provide ways to interact with the surrounding system. For example, in a browser, there are functions to interact with the currently loaded website and to read mouse and keyboard input. Um, I'm not going to show any examples of that just because it's going to involve too many explanations of things, but this is a good idea to think of. Uh, the environment as the website or the browser interface can be a very useful starting place. But with that, that's the end of that section. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.